Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to calculate the uh, formula mass of a compound and we're going to look at two compounds. The first one we're looking at is calcium carbonate. Now, the formula for calcium carbonate is shown here, calcium, carbon and oxygen. Now to deconstruct the formula, we have one calcium, one carbon and three oxygens. The little three after a uh, chemical symbol indicates how many atoms of that particular element are in the molecule. And if we look at the uh, model of the molecule here, you'll see that we've got one, two, three oxygens and one carbon in the middle. We also have one calcium. Now, have a look at the table here in the middle. This table contains the atomic masses of each of these elements as taken from the periodic table. So calcium has an atomic mass of 40, carbon is 12, and oxygen is 16. But there's three of those, so we multiply that by three to get 48. Then it's a simple case of adding all these numbers together to get 100. So 100 is the formula mass of calcium carbonate. In other words, if we had 100 grams of calcium carbonate, we would have one mole of calcium carbonate. Now the next one is sodium sulfate. And you can see the molecule for sodium sulfate here. It's a bit more complicated than, than the molecule for calcium carbonate. However, we can see that if we look at the chemical formula here, there are two sodiums, and we can see that in the molecule. There's one sulfur, which is this one in the middle, and we have four oxygens, which are arranged around the sulfur. Now, again, from the periodic table, we can extract the atomic masses of each of these elements. Sodium has a mass of 23, and we've got two of those in the molecule. So that gives us an overall mass for the sodium of 46. There's only one sulfur, and from the periodic table, we find that that's 32. And oxygen, there's four of those at 16 each, giving us 64. Once again, we add them all up, and we get an answer of 142. So 142 grams of sodium sulfate would be a mole of sodium sulfate. Thank you for listening.